El Fuchi likely improve here second up on the track. Light on set there racing and beginning well was Vinuvalu in the middle of the line. It's looking for the early lead but Wayne Davis sends Kronos past it now to go to the lead settling down. El Fuchi gets to third. Warface fourth the inside. Dawn Raid the last one as they work towards the 900 metre mark where Kronos he'll cross over and lead at a steady tempo so he's out a length in front of Vinuvalu. El Fuchi a bit closer this afternoon moved up to third. Four lengths back then to Warface and a further five lengths away to Dawn Raid, really spotting a big start off the back where Kronos travels. He's out by two lengths now over Helfuchi, passing the six. Helfuchi gets to a clear second, looks strong at that point. Vinuvalu drops off three lengths back in the field, then Warface and Dawn Raid spotting ten lengths at the 400 metre mark where the leader is Kronos. Wayne Davis holding him together, coming around the turn at the three. He led by two over Helfuchi, who's trying to get out after him. Vinuvalu back to third, just holding his ground as the leader had a nice little kick, a gap then Warface and Dawn Raid, but Kronos down to the 150, the leader, Vinuvalu starting to come back, Warface Helfuchi's dropping off and Dawn Raid late on the scene, but Kronos, he wants the line, Vinuvalu's coming at him, but Kronos holds on three quarters to Vinuvalu who came back and got pretty close Warface will I'd reckon grab the third and that'll give Coley the first three a gap then Dawn Raid and Helfuchi who gave a sight, got a bit tied up the straight, the last one home Stand by for numbers, Kronos though, just hanging on. He didn't want to go much further because Vinuvalu was coming back. Warface, the stable mate, coming on late. And Dawn Raid closing off to a degree, but Phil Cole's got the best possible result here in race number two on the card. And Kronos, favourite backers do it well here. Wins it by about a length over Vinuvalu. And Warface about a length and a half away in third spot. Looking at the photo there on the big screen. 109.74. One, four go into the frame, three quarters the margin. One, four, five. In 109.74. Three quarters, one and a quarter. Fourth goes to two, Dawn Ray. Just gave away a big start over the shorter 1200 metre journey and took some ground off late. And fifth goes to three, Hiofuchi. Gave a sight, got up there, got to a clear second coming around the home turn, but just found the going a bit tough in the concluding stages. But I thought did run better this afternoon. One though, Cronus, a six-year-old chestnut gelding helmet munchie for Phil Cole. Owned by Rhonda Cole, D, uh, Waterfall, P Davies, P.A. Meekins, P.M. Cole, T.R. Reichstein, S.A. Sean Berger, Mrs. A.M. Penner, B.J. Thompson, M.R. Newman, D. McGovern, P.O. Kane, T.R. Criddle, Miss T.Z. Slowski, G. Criddle, W. Chin and S.D. Thomason, trained by Phil Cole and Wayne Davis. Gets his uh, first winner on today's card. Second goes to four, Vinuvalu. And five-year-old Chestnut Golding. Two rack top, West End Magic, Phil Cole, Alice Lindsay. Ran a solid race. And third goes to five, Warface. A six-year-old Bay Golding, Warhead, Sacred Mountain for Phil Cole, Vanessa Run it, running a nice race. But the winner returns, Kronos. He just again found the right race this afternoon. And at start 24, win six. Six minor placings, prize money getting up towards the $170,000 mark. And this has proved a pretty good little purchase for the Phil Cole stable. A good result here in race number two. Put your hands together, folks. We stand by for correct weight on race number two.